Hello everybody, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. Pray you all had a wonderful week thus far and are keeping in extremely good health and in perfect, perfect happiness. Today we're going to have a quick chat about holistic self-care. It's another year, we're getting older. The only thing that is constant in this life is change itself. So therefore we have to obviously evolve as well our wellness self-care practices that we're working five years ago are definitely not going to be working today because everything changes seasons change children change relationship change our bodies change our health changes our beauty changes so therefore we just have to adapt and go with the flow of things instead of fighting change or instead of implementing tips that used to work five ten years ago today they're not going to be working because we are not the same people in my culture in africa we say you cannot step in the same river twice it's just not going to be possible so therefore we really must adapt and now that we're a year older we have to see ourselves as the upper management as not, not lower management anymore because we really are the bosses of ourselves there are certain things obviously that we cannot control but then as upper management we get to decide how we show up we get to decide what we allow and won't allow into our spaces into our energy that's why it's important to really not just practice self-care but also to be to approach it from a holistic point of view the tips so so the tips that i'm going to be sharing right now obviously they are like our golden tickets basically you know like in the Willy Wonka uh, Ch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory we're not going to be falling into the river into the chocolate river <laughs> of negativity we're not going to be falling into the chocolate river of self-loathing and self-hating we're not falling into that river because we really are planning to get to the promised land but it starts by being gentle on yourself and being kind to yourself and self-care sometimes the holistic self-care that is going to pay off emotionally spiritually physically intellectually is going to demand a certain level of uh, consistency a certain level of discipline so i do have my color coded knots here as usual so the first point that i want to um, mention is gratitude because even according to science gratitude has a way of healing us because it is going to lower your stress levels so whatever it is no matter how big or small you don't have to be grateful about tangible things it could be intangible things as well such as waking up in the morning and being able to feel your legs waking up every morning and being able to use your vocals your heart is beating those kind of things if you really get into that energy of practicing meaningful self-care and um, meaningful gratitude it really is going to amplify your energy because we are all emitting frequencies and everything is energy so therefore if you want more of that positivity start by counting that which you have like i said it doesn't have to be anything tangible it could be the intangible one uh, tangible intangible things those also genuinely matter because health is our greatest wealth being able to get hugs from your children being able to fight with your spouse not just not that yes i've been fighting all the time but the fact that somebody is willing to actually stay and fight with you stay and fight for you stay and build with you those are the things that we really should really thank god for because we take such things for granted and just the ability to wake up our eyes and being able to see because there's some people who are actually in rehabilitation right now they're suffering they can't feel their legs they've been in accidents so why not start by counting our blessings it doesn't have to be a big list it could be a list of five things or ten things depending on your time constraints see if there's a shift on an energetic level so these are the things that would definitely have an impact on your mental health is going to have an impact on your positive energy and like i said i like attracts like 
so therefore what you put out there is definitely what you're going to get back so set aside five minutes it won't take longer than that but also really relish the feeling and get into it and feel it and feel that warm fuzzy heart of yours magnifying and that is the joy that will sustain you throughout the day 2024 is not the year for stalking what i mean is we need to get to a place where we and where we're not so con controlled by our gadgets where we don't have to keep up with people who don't even keep up with us anymore clean it up go in your contact list let some people go it's okay not everybody's meant to go with you not everybody's meant to stay with you some people are just meant to be in your life for a season so stalking them giving away that energy it is not good for your mental health it is not good for your well-being it's, it's just not good for your energy levels because our energy and our time is genuinely finite so therefore we need to be obviously upper management in terms of where our attention goes try to have no screen time while you're having dinner no cell phones while you're having dinner no cell phones while you're eating so that this way you are not a slave to your iphone you're not so you so much that you can't leave it off for five minutes for 10 minutes for 20 minutes try 10 minutes and then you build up your you build up your your strength you build up your your resistance so that this way you begin to go for 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes you be you build up your muscle basically so that this way you are not so enslaved and also we are giving away so much of our energy there are too many lights blinding lights out there too much information and it can really be overwhelmed after we've uh, uh, consumed what we can consume let's get to a place where we can ask ourselves how how much of this is my idea and then this way you are also trusting your intuition and you're going with your gut as well so less screen time less stalking and more connecting with the people in front of you and also all that blue light is just not healthy for for anybody so limit it as much as you can give your mind a break give your attention a break and give the people in front of you the gift of your time this way you're going to have more fulfilled and more fulfilling relationships and the people around you in front of you or people that are in your circle they're going to really appreciate you more because your attention is not so divided my third point is journaling i genuinely swear by journaling i've been doing it for years and years it's a good way to collect memories it's a good way to sort of have that collage of those high moments and also low moments i'm gonna get into that later but now i'm just not talk going to talk about positivity when you journal when you do memory collecting you are going when times are rough or when the lows are low you can always go back to your journal and then go through it and read some of the entries that you made and then you realize that your life is not so rubbish after all and also when it comes to those moments when you're also down you can have a brain dump section in your journal and this is where you can just go and basically have a mental diarrhea if you will uh, an ideas diarrhea and you just pour it out on a piece of paper so that this way you can step back and then come back read through it and then you'll be amazed as to how many ideas you can come up with pertaining to the problems that you have written down because when it's all in our minds it's really overwhelming because it's a lot of tabs that are open and you're trying to figure things out whereas if you just pour it out there it's a fantastic way to just step back evaluate and then come back and then you can write three solutions for the problems that you have whether you want to ask for help or that you have to strategize whatever it is remember now you're upper management so the choices are definitely definitely yours and another fun way to have to keep your journal obviously gratitude that's another entry you can have just write it down so that this way you can always go back to and increase your your serotonin basically and just be the happier version of yourself and another 
fun way to track your progress particularly with those new habits that haven't really kicked in yet is to have a habit tracker habit tracker is going to show you where your time went and how you utilize your time and how much you showed up for yourself and how much you practiced this habit that you want to track so you can track anything you want from water intake to your vitamins your menstrual cycle your i don't know number of days you've consumed vegetables or it could be how many times you went for a massage during the week or during the month so you can track anything and this way you're going to really see where you need to readjust and reapply yourself and and actually evaluate what needs to change and what doesn't have to change and also judging by your body how you feel after practicing certain certain habits that you would have written down then you can always adjust this is my entry for January. This is I cannot track uh, water, for instance, water intake because already I consume more than two liters a day. But there are some things that are difficult for me, such as oil pulling. I'm trying to get into that so desperately, and I've been consistent since the beginning of the year, which is fantastic. And things like reading a chapter in the morning, a chapter at night as well, really being accountable to myself. Um, what else? A solo gym session, I've been struggling to do that. So I'm really working on putting in the time to do a bit of weightlifting because like I said, our bodies are also changing, right? So we need to change. We need to adapt with the change instead of fighting the change. My fourth point is surrounding yourself with people that are good for your soul, people that are good for your mental health, people that are good for your nervous system. This I cannot say enough because remember you are not upper management. You are. This is where you get to exercise choice, who you give your attention to, who you give your energy to. You cannot be sentimental about people who are no longer sentimental about you. It doesn't make sense. Once again, it's about using your energy for the people that are genuinely worthy of your time and when people cut you off it's okay you don't need closure the only closure you need is not wasting your time and just accepting things the way they are and reciprocity giving as good as you get now we are in that era where we want to take everything and give nothing back and there's bound to be some sailors on this rock crazy as you one can only hope take what you can give nothing back and in the long run it is not going to work because it has to be a two-way street and also I saw that thing is circulating on Instagram normalize calling people uh, co-workers classmates neighbors gym mates so that this way you are not going to be disappointed you know great expectations <laughs> according to people he was listening to habits expectations you say he, was thinking to himself god these are these expectations are even greater than my own because peep had great expectations right so sometimes we're going to be expecting things from people because they are our colleagues and then we're going to get our hearts broken we're going to get our emotions bro uh, hurt because we are expecting too much from a neighbor that's not your friend so normalize knowing where you fit in people's lives so that this way you can adjust your expectations accordingly i had a i had a not a friend a colleague i learned the hard way we were connecting we used to talk every day we exchanged numbers we would follow each other on instagram and we even spoke about birthdays we spoke about star signs we even had an in-depth conversation about life path numbers my birthday was first and she knew the date i told her the date my birthday came not a peep from let's say let's call it julia not a peep from julia then i understood i was like oh, okay fine you know what this is it i don't have to ask i don't have to stalk i don't have to try to understand why she didn't wish me happy birthday then her birthday came a couple of months past mine and i returned the energy there was not a peep from yours truly but she expected me to say something she expected me to come show up with balloons and party poppers that didn't happen and 
in a way i thought to myself you know what it is reciprocity she sowed a seed of nothingness so therefore i will also reap nothingness from this experience because if you show up for me i'm going to show up for you in a similar capacity because i have to understand the simple law of reciprocity right but i cannot expect her to I, she could not it was unfair that she would expect me to show up for her in such a manner and she never did the same for me she knew the day she even saw the instagram stories but she chose to say absolutely nothing and then when the her big day came she expected like i said bells and whistles and cakes and all those things that didn't happen and the friendship just died afterwards because there was just no turning back and it's a shame because we had a lot in common but anyway the point i'm trying to illustrate is there's no reciprocity so therefore unfortunately this colleague of mine we could not take the relationship from being colleagues to actually becoming genuine friends because she was a colleague and therefore we just had to move accordingly so we need to get away from this place of taking everything and giving nothing back instead really nature those relationships because they will feed you as well if they water you you water them and you grow together and also when it's time to let go then you can all both let go and part as friends and so it's really important to know the role you play in people's lives and protecting your energy the last practice i want to unpack is a nothing shower you've heard about everything shower where this is where you can do all your self-care you can shave you can do a face mask you can exfoliate you can do your food scrub you can you can do all those wonderful things but the nothing shower this is at the end of the day just to get rid of all the energies that you have accumulated throughout the day because we are going to encounter so many people going through so many things we are also going through so many things and so many issues so therefore it's a lot of energy going around and so many people are hurting and it's a lot out there it's quite a lot and people want to project sometimes we also project so at the end of the day this is going to also be a sleep inducer by the way it's going to induce your sleep if you have cold uh, limbs like hands and and feet you're going to just obviously do your nothing bath or your nothing shower is going to warm you up as well and you're going to sleep like a baby but more to the point it really is about a cleansing of energies because there's a lot we don't see there's a lot that we are protected from so we cannot be lukewarm about protecting the energy protecting yourself especially when you interact with a lot of people so it's important that you just cleanse and let it go let it go down the drain imagine yourself under the under a waterfall and even if you're under the shower so that this way you can really just let it go and leave people where you found them basically so always always try to do this it's going to help you fall asleep better and it's going to cleanse your cleanse you as well so there you have it these were our golden tickets little nuggets that we can infuse in our self-care holistic self-care practices they're very simple i mean they don't even cost anything it's just about really protecting your energy and making sure that you sleep like a baby you cleanse your energy and you give your attention and your energy to people who are also showing up for you in a similar capacity remember you know upper management we're getting older so we really need to recalibrate and um, refocus and redirect and and try new things because we're not the same people we cannot say step in the same river twice that being said love one another take care of one another and be kind to one another if nothing else i shall be seeing you in my next video bye